Hey there. Um, just want to give you a perspective on the cause of procrastination. And look, I've actually written books on ways to be able to psychologically get beyond it, to be able to cause absolutely no excuse for why there should be, but there's typically a reason for procrastination. And I want to give you that reason right now. So I've been tinkering with an idea just of late. Um, this tank stand, I'm going to be filling that wall in and that wall over there with some tin to create a windbreak. And then um, from there, I'm also going to be putting a fence from here to that chook pen, chook yard, sorry. Just the other day, the Lord graced me with a, um, a chook pen that's bigger than a car trailer. I just had to get it here and I had to get a tr the tractor to get it off the trailer. I've got to go and get some mesh and some steel to reinforcement so no fox can get into it. But what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to integrate the new pen into the corner of that yard so it comes off like an L bracket and then I'm going to create a fence that goes up past this vehicle and they're back into the corner of this tank stand. Now, why am I doing this? <laughs> Gardening. And wind is an issue, so I've had to pick you know, reason season, my location, all the rest of it. I've got the greenhouse, I've got all the gear, the plastic, the tyres, the seeds, the plants, the water, the irrigation, the tanks, the pumps, you name it, got the lot. And you'd be sitting there like, if you've got everything, why are you procrastinating? I've even, I even, with the new chook them pen that I got, um, they even gave me a proper feed, a pr feed box and proper feeder, like, um, all the fencing gear, all the concrete stuff. Seriously, if the world was to go down tomorrow, wouldn't stop what I was up to here. It's fantastic. Anyway, I, I've even got a filter for the water to make sure that, um, if it has to come out of the dam and it's not rainwater, I can filter it back to some, you know, reasonable sediment free liquid to you know, water my plants with because I've even got a way to be able to drain the land properly and ensure that rainwater is not what's going to actually look after its drinking needs because with so much rain and wind at the moment we need to be able to irrigate and not rely on weather so much because if we don't regulate the rainwater uh, we'll end up drowning it anyway so you name it I've got the goods for it you name it, all the tools, everything. And I've already sat down and I've put the plans together and I've got an idea on how it is I want to put this together. Like, I'm even going to have it so that, um, oh, so this tank here, I've got a few million liters of uh, water sitting at the bottom of this um, hill. I've got the pumps sitting there to pump the water up to this tank. That, that, that's buggered. I'm just using it as a windbreak amongst other things, but also its own little greenhouse because I've got the clear plastic to put around it so we can make greenhouses if we want to. Uh, you see how the wind is a problem, you can hear it. I'm going to be putting a windbreak up, so with that I'm going to be using the post hole diggers and putting posts in, concreting posts in. Um, and you'll be like, so why are you procrastinating? <laughs> I'm going to dig the ground out, I'm going to put a slab in, or not a slab, like just a gravel pad in before I put the greenhouse in because I don't want weeds, I hate weeds though, and um, you know, pot plants, everything, you know, name it, you name it, <laughs> this is what the Lord does if we're going to get organised, see we've even got power, it's just unbelievable, anyway, um, so why am I procrastinating? <laughs> Because my inner child is sick of cleaning. <laughs> and so you're like, well, yeah. He knows it. <laughs> We're sick of cleaning. All we do is clean. So I've just started now. I've just started organizing cleaning. So what was actually causing the procrastination was I was having a tantrum about tidying things up before I got into it. But the long and short of it is I couldn't make a start. So not only was the cleaning the answer to the conundrum, but also it was the problem in the first place. And I want you to think about it now, is 
the original cleanup that you've got to do, the actual cause for why you're procrastinating. Because um, the unfortunate thing for me is, is I've got every tool available to wipe procrastination out. It's still there at times. And um, look, what was my great excuse? You ready for it? I couldn't be bothered to walk across to the shed to get a new pair of gloves so I could start cleaning. So I was allowing the gloves to be the reason for why I wouldn't make a start, you know? And anyway, so I sucked it up, got the gloves, and um, with the cleaning, I'm organizing the wood to the wood, the steel to the steel, the electricals to the electricals, the pipe to the pipe, the plastic to the plastic, etc., 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 etc. And that'll be out of the way behind this setup, and then that will then give me a, a clean platform to be able to um, put the gravel pad down and along with that I'll obviously put plastic down to ensure that I don't get weeds which is what it is then I'll put the windbreak up and then um, once we're there I can then contemplate the greenhouse going up then from the greenhouse see I've got two greenhouses here like this is a project that will essentially go for the next 12 months and it's going to be ongoing permanently um, but I've already had the vision like for example I've got the rotary hoe on the back of the tractor already and um, I've already got the design up in here and how I'm going to put the garden beds together uh, very weed free um, all I've got to do is just be patient take my time and do things right here and it should be a really good setup but um, for anyone else that's got a procrastination issue or struggling and you've gone to some reasonable effort to try and figure out why am I not making a start just first of all see if it's not you making an excuse for why you might need to get out the whippersnipper or the mower or the lawnmower or a set of gloves and to actually tidy up what's theirs first um, bit of housekeeping so what's been stopping me from starting this was I needed to get the job site tidied up first to make the start in the first place anyway there we have it I hope that might help someone who struggles with a bit of procrastination as well because I don't procrastinate about much but it's nice to pinpoint the why and so for the why I'm sick of cleaning <laughs> and I like cleaning but you know we all have an inner child and my inner child like all I do is clean I'm just like again anyway so if you're struggling it could be cleaning too and if it is cleaning have a look at the why's for why you're not cleaning do you need chucks do you need cleaning sprays do you need like squeegees do you need something that's stopping you from making the start typically you have to clean things up first to get down to the beginning of laying the foundation it's the initial clean anyway hope this helps bye for now